Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Half-Life 2. So things are crazy intense at the moment, and we are fully upgraded, we are fully powered up, and nothing can stop us. Literally not whole armies, striders, whatever. Oh, we're going again, we're going again! Oh yeah, that's fun. Ooh. This is, you know, one of the most interesting roller coasters I've ever been on. I'm not going. Oh, no, there I am. No, I want to go the other way. <gasps> no, I want to go the other way. No, I want to go the other way. Can I crouch? No, I cannot. Help! 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 No, 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 no. I was just making pictures. I thought I was going through a laser. Okay, it's just making pictures. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind my paparazzi. Uh, but I'm being taken on a different track, though. That's not good. And I mean, in general, like, Brain knows exactly where I am, so... What is that? They seem like some sort of like combination between ant lions and striders. Oh my god, look at this. <gasps> oh, the outside world. Let me re. Oh my god. Like, Brain knows exactly where we are. Like, this can only end so poorly. <laughs> we don't have the element of surprise. <gasps> Like, for sure he's moving us to wherever he wants us to be right now. And we're probably gonna, like, get out in a room full of en enemies. Right? Or he's taking us to talk to him. Also a possibility. Less likely, though. <laughs> Less likely. I would prefer that, but... <laughs> oh, holy moly, it's dark. I think we still- I just want to say, I think we still have two chapters to go, but this is a really short chapter. Okay, dark energy. Uh-oh. They're not gonna attack me, are they? They're taking it. Well, hello, Dr. Mossman. Can I- Don't I struggle, again? it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. I like to politely disagree. Have you seen everything Gordon did so far? We've been in his room before. We very quickly got teleported in there. Thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. Impossible to describe with oh, our limited vocabulary. Eli! What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. No. <laughs> you have Give my it. gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. And then you deliver yourself? <laughs> if I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh? Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks oh, to Judith. you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified <laughs> to finish his research yourself. You what neither you boy. nor I can't do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli. If you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it. For <gasps> Alex! Alex, honey. Dad. Mm. Gordon? No. 
God damn you, Breen, you let her go! That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or... Will you give your child the chance her mother never had? Oh my god. How ha! dare you even mention her? Good on you, Alex. Not Good on you. Your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, see you later. <laughs> Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry. Get Wallace. me my gravity gun. That's all I need. No, I have time. Don't. Gravity gun. Gravity. Oh God. Dad, hang on. You fool. I can't Watch move. Out. He's gonna. No. No. Dad. He got my gravity gun. Oh no no no! Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen! I can still deliver That's him! But not without your help! The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. A host body must be joined. Are you be talking to Gina? Yeah, he is! Oh, all right, damn it! That's what it takes! Just hurry! He's right behind me! That is not G-Man. Oh shit! <gasps> the gravity gun! Woo! Damn it! Not again! My God! What was that thing? The gravity gun. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have a clue, does he? Hey, nope. I wonder where he's going. But he saw what damage that did. Why? Why would he leave it? <gasps> Stunning. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. Eh? Okay. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator, and I'll let you in. Don't forget to okay. charge up your suit. Yeah, we're all charged up. Okay, thanks, Alex. I'll get in. So what she's saying by don't forget to charge up your suit is like, you're gonna fight. <laughs> but be careful. Oh! I thought we were going up for some reason. That doesn't make a lot of sense, because we're basically completely up. Oh god. I feel like we're starting to get really close to the end, guys. Dr. Freeman, there he is. Dr. Freeman, you where he is? Be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, 
this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. Oh, there he you, is. on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed. And even in some which are essentially impossible. <laughs> oh no, Combine soldiers. Where did they come from? I can't, like... Oh, I can pull him towards me. I need to do this more. <gasps> I need to do this more. That was really cool. That won't though. Okay, I see what we need to do. So let's not get killed by it. Oh, wait a second. There you go. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. Don't listen to him, Gordon. Oops. I'm trying. Trying so hard to get there. Where am I? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I don't really understand. Also, I don't see where I'm being shot from. <laughs> I don't know why I keep shooting it back in there, but oh. I don't think that was supposed to happen, was it? I don't think that was supposed to happen. But I don't really understand where I'm supposed to go now. Yeah, but down up. I feel like I need to get on that platform, but now I'm. Oh. Keep going. <sighs> okay. First of all, let's charge. Second of all, let's save. Oh, am I walking on something? I don't understand exactly I what I'm walking told on. You that was pointless, Dr. Oh, there's glass here. Go, Gordon. Okay. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Oh the portal's opening. Alex. What do I do, Alex? I have my gravity gun. I hope you said your farewell. Oh god. Oh my god. I miss them very badly. Yeah, I'm gonna die here for a second. I guess. 
see what I'm supposed to do. I just... I told you that was I'm missing very badly with them. Are okay. you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. Let's retry that. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Oh my god. The portal's opening. I hope you said your farewells. Like, how am I supposed to hit them, though? I don't understand, really. Like, I... Am I just really bad? I'm aiming at them, aren't I? Like, I just suck. I think that's the explanation. Come on, that didn't hit. There you go. But what can I do about it, Alex? You can give me some advice. Like how am I? There we go. Okay. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. I can get another one. A Pretty sure. Failure, Dr. Oh, failure to prevent time critical sequence. Wait. Well, let me retry. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. Singularity collapse. We've got to get out of here. Yeah. We still have. Time, Doctor Freeman. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. He seems unbeatable. <gasps> Are we locked in, in stasis again? That was it? The ending went so fast! No, I wanted more! <laughs> I wanted more! I felt like we still had a long, long way to go! We ended Half-Life 2! What?! <laughs> oh my god, the ending! Did we do- 
Did we just destroy the whole world? Is that what we did? I feel like we basically just helped G-Men destroy the whole world. Is that... Is that true? And Alex doesn't seem like she will survive. I don't think anyone will survive except Gordon. Because it seems like we're locked in stasis again, right? That's what it seemed like. He basically, like... G-Man walked out of the, the dark room, I guess, out of stasis or something. And this time, which is interesting, this time he didn't give us a choice. He said, like, rather than giving you the illusion of, of having a choice, I'll just make the choice for you. <laughs> which I appreciate, you know. <laughs> I don't like having to make choices. It stresses me out because I don't want to make the bad choice. So thanks, G-Man. I appreciate it. <laughs> but guys... We finished Half-Life 2. For now, the last of the Half-Life games, which is really sad to think about. Don't worry, I will be playing both the episodes as well, so we're not completely done yet. Uh, I don't know exactly how long they are, so how much content we still have left. Uh, but I will definitely for sure be playing both of them. But it's still sad to think about that we basically finished like the main series now. We have some extra content, but like, we finished Black Mesa, we finished Half-Life 2, and we finished Half-Life Alex. Guys, I, <laughs> I many, many, many times, to be honest, did not think I would be able to get my butt through any of the games, because they're intense, they're very stressful, and they're quite difficult, so yeah. I'm so happy I got into this. Half-Life 2. There we go. Lamar? Lamar? Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar? Is that where he... Wait, what? <laughs> Dr. Kleiner keeps losing Lamar, right? And then he's looking for Lamar over all over the place. Is Lamar just in stasis with Gordon? <laughs> How? How does Lamar find a way there? <laughs> That's too cool. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, I I am so happy I discovered this series. I don't know if discovering is the right word. I had, of course, heard of the Half-Life games, especially of the meme of Half-Life 3. I mean, that's quite iconic. <laughs> but... I don't know, for the, the longest time, like for all these years, it kind of flew under my radar. Um, I also told you guys, you know, I'm not really a, a first person shooter kind of person. So I never thought the games really would be for me. And then I got Half-Life Alex as a present uh, for my birthday. And uh, I love VR games, of course. And I was very, very interested to try out something new, which is how I started with Half-Life Alex, uh, I know many people don't like that I started with that game. I'm sorry, I didn't know much about the games. Um, I got this as a present and I was looking for new VR games to play, so I thought, you know, it would be cool to try that out. Then I absolutely loved Half-Life Alex, absolutely love, love, loved it. Um, and that's how we started with Black Mesa and now Half-Life 2. And now we just finished a series, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me because I was very stressed out uh, through all of the games. <laughs> Half-Life Alex was like one big horror nightmare for me, but I loved it. And then Black Mesa, Jesus Christ, was that scary and stressful. <laughs> and then Half-Life 2. Um, and I have to say, if I have to compare it... So if I would leave out the Zen part of Black Mesa, um, I, I'm inclined to say that I like Half-Life 2 better. Um, the thing is, like, I loved Zen absolutely loved Zen. That was, for me, by far the best part of Black Mesa. Um, so I find it hard to compare the two games when uh, Black Mesa does have a Zen part and Half-Life 2 doesn't. So that's a bit difficult for me to compare. With Half-Life 2, it was the case that I loved the beginning, then the middle part I was a bit eh about, and then I loved the end part again as well. Basically, from... Um, after we left Nova Prospect, I know a lot of people love Nova Prospect. I did not like it, to be honest. That's not because it wasn't cool. It was very well done, but it was too stressful for me. Like, I I was very scared. Like, I get immersed into games so easily. Um, 
way too quickly, basically. So everything feels very realistic to me. I and that's why I get so into it and so stressed out as well. Um, and Nova Prospect in that that prospect <laughs> was really well done. Uh, it was really immersive and really scary and very intense. Like I could feel the pressure, and that really got to me, which is why I didn't like it. Not to say that it wasn't really well done and really, really cool. But yeah, basically from the moment we left that again, I loved everything. I loved having my squads with me. I loved like the Strider fights, the rooftop fights. I loved all of it so much. I, I, and like powering down the generators was so cool. And then of course this end part was mind blowingly amazing. I love that. I felt so powerful. It was so much fun. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed the end part. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that could have lasted longer in my opinion, um, but yeah, I love the games, guys. I love the games so much, uh, and I'm very excited to be playing episode one and two as well. Um, yeah, I will be probably immediately playing that after this, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in episode one and two, so yeah. Bye, guys.